Hi students, I'll try in this educational video to express the biharmonic equation of a plate as well as the Poisson's boundary conditions as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. Well, let's consider a plate as it is depicted now in this slide. This plate has a thickness h and the middle surface of this plate is in the plane defined by the directions x and y. Uh, the mechanical properties of this plate are summarized by uh, the flexural rigidity of the plate, denoted uh, D, which is uh, expressed in terms of the Young's modulus, denoted by E, and the Poisson's coefficient, denoted by nu. When I apply an external loading, uh, denoted by Q, on this plate, we can obtain the equilibrium equation along the Z direction, in terms of the bending moments mx and my and the twisting moment mxy and also the external loading q as it is indicated by the formula that you see now in this slide. Of course mx uh, and my as bending moments and uh, the twisting moment mxy are uh, expressed in terms of the flexural rigidity d and the deflection w as it is expressed by the by the formula that you see now in this slide. Of course, I talked about this and I explained this in a previous video. The flexural rigidity D here is expressed in terms of the Young modulus E and the Poisson's coefficient nu and the thickness H as it is indicated in this slide. Now, when we inject the bending moment or the expression of the bending moment mx and my and the expression of the, twi the twisting moment mxy in terms of the deflection w i can obtain the plate biharmonic equation as it is indicated now in this slide so as you can see the mathematical operator applied on the deflection w can be summarized as uh, the nabla to the power fourth of the deflection is equal to the external loading Q divided by the flexural rigidity D. If we associate the Poisson's boundary conditions uh, to this uh, plate biharmonic equation, and I will explain uh, the Poisson's boundary conditions later, we can obtain the mathematical model that uh, govern uh, the deflection W. And the solving of this mathematical model will, of course, uh, permit to obtain the deflection W at any point of the plate. Now, I'll explain the Poisson's boundary conditions, and I'll start with the first one, which is the clamped edge. So, I consider a plate depicted here in blue. This plate is uh, considered in the plane defined by the directions X and Y. The length of the plate is A. Uh, small a and the width of the plate is small b and I consider a clamp uh, in the edge a b which is defined by the directions x equal to small a and I consider another clamp in the edge o a defined by the directions y equal to zero so it's obvious that at the clamp we have zero deflection and we have zero slope. That's the fundamental idea for a clamp. Zero def deflection at the edge OA, which is defined by the direction y equal to zero, means that the deflection w at uh, y equal to zero will be equal to zero. And zero slope at the edge OA defined by y equal to zero means that the variation of the deflection W along the direction defined by y equal to zero will be equal to zero. Same thing at the edge AB defined by the direction x equal to A. We have W at the direction x equal to A equal to zero and uh, the zero slope at the edge AB defined by the direction x equal to a is uh, defined by a variation of w along the direction x equal to a equal to zero. Now I'll talk about the second Poisson's boundary condition which is the simply supported edge. So based on the same model I consider that the 
HOC is simply supported. This HOC is defined by the direction x equal to 0. And I consider also that the HCB is simply supported. And this HCB is defined by the, by the direction y equal to b. So at the simply support edge, we have zero deflection and zero bending moment. This is the fundamental idea of a simply supported edge. Well, zero deflection at the edge OC means that the deflection W in the direction defined by x equal to zero will be equal to zero. And zero bending moment at the edge OC means that the bending moment along x in the direction defined by x equal to zero will be equal to zero. If we express the bending moment along x in terms of the flexural rigidity and the deflection w, we can notice that the second derivative of the deflection along y, which is the curvature along y, uh, is equal to zero in the direction defined by x equal to zero. This is expected since the uh, edge OC defined by the direction x equal to zero is simply supported, so the, there is no curvature along the edge OC. We obtain finally that the second derivative of the deflection w along x, which is the curvature along x, in the direction defined by x equal to zero will be equal to zero. Same thing for the deflection at the edge CB. Zero deflection at the edge CB means that the deflection W uh, in the direction defined by y equal to b will be equal to zero. And zero bending moment at the edge CB means that the bending moment along y in the direction uh, y equal to b is equal to zero. If we express the bending moment along y in terms of the flexural rigidity and the deflection w, we can easily notice that the second derivative of the deflection w along the x direction, which is the curvature along the x direction, will be equal to zero in the direction defined by y equal to b. This is expected since the curvature along the x direction is zero uh, in uh, the edge CB since the edge CB is simply supported. We obtain finally that the second derivative of the deflection W along y, which is the curvature along y, in the direction defined by y equal to b is equal to zero. Now I talk about the third Poisson's boundary condition, which is the free edge. So based on the model that you see now in this slide, we have a clamp on the edges OA and CB, and we have a simply support at the edge OC. So the edge AB is called free edge. This means that there is no clamp or simply support in this edge. This edge AB is defined by the direction x equal to A. So at the free edge, we have zero bending moment, zero twisting moment, and zero shear force. This is the fundamental idea of a free edge. So at the edge AB, which is the free edge, defined by the direction x equal to A, we have a zero bending moment, so the bending moment along x and the direction x equal to a will be equal to zero. We have a zero twisting moment, so the twisting moment m x y and the direction x equal to a is equal to zero. And we have a zero shear force, so the shear force q x in the direction x equal to a is equal to zero. Now, when we express the bending moment along x in terms of the flexural rigidity d and the deflection w, we obtain the formula that you see now in this slide. Now, it's to note that the boundary conditions associated to the twisting moment and the shear force are coupled. This coupling is based on the fact that the sum of the shear force and the variation of the twisting moment along y is equal to a certain 
Kirchhoff's edge share denoted by Vx, which should be equal to zero. If we express in this formula the shear force and the twisting moment in terms of the flexural rigidity and the deflection W, we obtain the formula that you see now in this slide. So at the edge AB, which represents the free edge, we have two boundary conditions. The first one is related to the zero bending moment, and the second one is related to the coupling between the zero twisting moment and the zero shear force, as it is depicted now in this slide. This educational video takes end. If you have any questions, remarks, or suggestions, please mention it in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention.